Wounded for Life 27. Here's a trivia question for you, my friend. You like trivia? I like trivia. Here's a trivia question for you. Your ass belongs to A, you, B, the government, C, Jesus. I'll give you a moment to answer that. Got an answer? Eh, wrong trick question. The correct answer was none of the above. You know why? Because it's a well-known fact, or at least it soon will be, that your ass is mine. The pro-life movement. The radical idea that babies are people too. I guess that's what passes for wit in the pro-life circles, but you know what? I've made you a much better button. The pro-life movement, the ludicrous notion that a fetus is equivalent to a human being and that holding this belief entitles one to apply this ethic even to those who disagree with its precepts. What it lacks in brevity and catchiness, it makes up for in fucking honesty. Don't you agree? Well, no, I guess you don't. Let's say you came home from school one day, or maybe you're older, you came home from work, I don't know, but some reason you went to your mom's house. And for some reason your mom decides, you know, you suck as a child, I don't want you anymore, I hate you, you should die. So, what does your mom do? She kills you. Now, do you think she has the rights to do that? Unless you are mentally disturbed, you probably said no, I do not think my mom has the right to kill me. Yet... Most Americans believe that abortion is okay. That doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He thinks he can think. It's adorable. I want to take him home and wrap him up in a little blankie. He's like, oh, it's okay, little guy. I'm obligated by amazing atheist law to own his ass, but I really don't want to. I just want to ruffle up his hair and give him some cho hot chocolate and some marshmallows and be like, here you go, little guy, that was a good effort. You almost had something resembling a cogent argument, I guess. Here's some flaws with that argument. Number one, I don't know about you, but I can kick my mom's ass. If I went to go visit my mom and she's like, you know, you're a shitty son, I'm going to kill you and shit, all I got to do is BAM! Bitch, we go down like a fucking rock. She's got a glass jaw. You can't kick your mom's ass? I can kick my mom's ass. I don't know about you people. Maybe some of you got tougher moms than I do, but I know I can kick that bitch's ass. But let's say I was weaker than her. Would it be ethical for her to kill me? No, because I'm a grown man with thoughts and even the occasional feeling. What is the difference between me and a fetus? Let me fucking make a little comprehensive chart to explain the fucking difference to you, since it seems to be so very confusing. Alright, so this is a fetus. Now, the first thing you'll note about the fetus is its general hideous form. It is an extremely gross-looking thing. Now, and then there's me. You'll notice that there's really not much of a difference in terms of physical appearance. But there's a lot of differences in terms of other things. Now, the first thing about it is thoughts. Now, of course, I have thoughts. I'm a grown man. I have thoughts. I have, like I said, yeah, so of course I have thoughts. Now, does the fetus similarly have thoughts? No. No, it doesn't. Okay, so, so we found our first major difference. All right, what about, what about feelings? What about feelings? Now, I might not be the most emotional person on the planet, but I do have, I do have feelings. It's true. As for the fetus, does the fetus have feelings? Well, I mean, obviously, it'd be pretty cruel for nature to create something that, is totally isolated in a woman's uterus. You know, obviously, a fetus does not have feelings. A fetus isn't sitting there in the womb, bored and lonely. It doesn't have any notion of either of those things. That would be a fairly miserable existence. What about awareness? We know that we are people with an identity and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, I have that. Everyone has that. Everyone except for our friend Mr. Fetus, that is. Mr. Fetus doesn't have much in the way of awareness. What about interpersonal relationships? People who know and care about us. Well, a fetus lives inside of its mother's womb, so it can't possibly have anyone that knows it and cares for it. I, on the other hand, am a person with many complex social relationships, 
such as a brother and a mother and a father and friends and enemies and all sorts of things like that. So you see, there's pretty fucking significant difference between me and Mr. Fetus here. A growing plant is still a flower, so therefore a growing fetus is still a human life. Ah, look at these beautiful flowers! All the bright and beautiful... Co oh wait, these are just seeds. It doesn't have a brain yet. It can't think. It's a growing life. Killing it is still the same thing as killing it if it would be my age. This is also alive. And it also has the potential to become a human being. And if you're anything like me, anything at all, then you're genociding quite a few of these little bastards on a somewhat daily basis. I do not think abortion is okay, even in a rape situation, but I do think it is a little bit different. Sweetie, I have some bad news. The doctors did some tests, and they found out that, you know when all those guys raped you, sweetie? It seems that one of them put a little baby in your tummy, that's right. And since we're good Christians, you're going to have to carry that baby inside of you for nine months as a reminder of that moment of shame and degradation. That's because we're Christians, honey. We're moral people. You have to... You know, don't cry. It's all right. Just because you have the seed of a rapist growing inside of you, that's no reason to be upset, sweetie. You want me to get you an ice cream, huh? You want an ice cream? Wouldn't that sound good? Fuck you. You're an asshole. Whenever someone says something like, oh, adoption messes up a child, they just give me the impression that they are desperately looking for a reason to be okay with abortion. Yeah, the only problem is that our system is overflowing with unwanted children as it is. I have a friend who's an orphan who was a ward of the state who grew up in uh, a series of foster homes and state institutions and the horror stories I've heard sound like something to come out of a third world country or a fictional nightmare dystopia. Bringing more children into this world that you don't intend to love and care for yourself is fucked up. Preventing them from ever existing in this world is not the same thing as killing them once they already do. Now I've gone easy on you for two reasons. One, because you're a movie buff, and I respect that, because I am too, and you're also looking forward to the new Star Trek movie, as am I. And two, because I understand your position. I truly do. I truly understand how you feel, and I can understand looking at something that society does and saying, this is wrong, I don't understand this. But you're wrong. Society's not wrong on this one, you are. But if you don't believe me, keep fighting the good fight, and... Don't ever think that I'm trying to silence you or stop you from having your say, but I have a suggestion to impart before I go. Instead of trying to change the law, instead of fighting to make abortion illegal, why don't you fight to change the hearts and minds of the people who get abortions? Instead of appealing to judges and institutions, why not appeal to people? Why not support educational programs that would prevent people from getting pregnant with unwanted children to begin with? Amazing Atheist, peace.